okay so let's have a look at this problem welcome to grammar's youtube channel and uh, so today we'll be doing computational geometry okay so uh, the first problem have we have here is uh, abc is equilateral and uh, is any point on produced and this is an equilateral triangle ecd so abc what we have is abc is an equilateral triangle and so is ecd and we are given that m and m the midpoints that is m is a midpoint of a c a d and uh, eb is a and n is a midpoint of eb that is eb so n is a midpoint of here okay so um i'd like to go with coordinate bashing although you can go with any any method you like okay so now first of all let's assume that the c is a very independent for origin right a lot of lines are meeting here so um, let's set it to um, 0 comma 0 that is origin okay um also what we can do is set abc the side length of abc is one right so um the side length of abc is one this is going to be one comma zero obviously a is going to the x-axis right mm. and uh, this is going to be minus a comma zero we are uh, taking the side length of cde is minus a right okay mm. since this is a, since this is, a, this is 60 degree okay you can easily calculate the slope of the line a b and b c and you can say it to be as 1 by 2 comma uh, root 3 by 2 right i hope um yeah so and again also by the same logic this is also 60 degree so you can do this as minus a by 2 minus so this is a negative um, and uh, this is root root 3 by root 3 by 2 right okay so yeah, by midpoint formula you can see that n is basically 1 minus that is 1 plus uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 minus a by 2 that is going to be uh, 1 plus 2a by 2 right and this is going to be uh, sorry minus and uh, this is going to be root 3 minus root 3 by 4 also um uh, m is the midpoint of the hair so this is going to be uh the hair going to be um let's see a, a b minus one. that is going to be 2 minus a by 4 right and it is going to be uh 0 plus root 3 by that is root 3 by a root 3 a by 4 all right okay now you need to show that c m is equilateral it's pretty easy you know just calculate the length of the sides and this is done yeah this is all you have okay so we're done for this problem okay and let's move on so here is our next problem uh, that is it's all it's a, it's a bit easy problem that it still is that uh, given abcd is a square abcd is a square and uh, e and f are the midpoints okay the midpoints and you are told to find the area of ob80 that is this large chunk this mass to the total area of the square okay now this problem is can be approached again in a multiple ways but uh here particularly this type of problem is coordinate geometry is like coordinate bashing is very helpful so um you could any you could uh, assign the origin at any point a b c d anywhere but uh let's say we will go with zero d at this point right so d is zero comma zero since cd is the x-axis so this is going to be two comma zero uh, and also why I chose 2 here is because we have been given midpoints right and uh, if and I'm not very good with fractions I fractions suck so just 1 comma 0 okay and this is going to be 0 comma 2 and um, D is 2 comma 2 and E is basically um, what is it this is basically one comma one right so now what we need to do is just find the area of this find the find a, um there's a coordinates of o then we can easily find the area of ob and d and uh, and we know the area of the square is just four right so let's see so o is a uh, o is intersection of this point o is intersection of bf and 
D E. So just um, let's see if we can if we can find the intersection. So the slope of PF is slope of PF is going to be two comma zero two minus zero two minus zero by is BF. Okay, so BF is going to be two minus zero by two minus one. This is equal to 2 and the slope of this d d a is basically equal to 1 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 going to be 1 right so um, now you know the slopes of the two two lines and you know their coordinates you can easily find out the equation so what we need to do here is find the equation of the two lines is find equation solve solve them use shoelace and use shoelace formula and it's pretty easy right so as soon as you, the the intersection the intersect the solve that is the solution to the problem is going to be O and uh, you need shoelace to do this okay so this problem is, is, a, is a very easy problem Right, this was nothing special in it. Okay, oh, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, okay. So this is the last problem of our day, and uh, this is from EDO 2013, the first problem. Uh, what we have given here is that ABC is a triangle, and CD is equal to BC. CD is equal to BC. So um, this is A, this is A, and C extended beyond A, so that. A E equal to two C A A E equal to two C A. So this B is going to be two B, and uh, C this is side C. Now we are told that prove that if A D equal to B A, A D is equal to B A, then A B C is a right angle triangle. Okay. So we'll approach this problem using uh, trigonometric cosine rules. Okay. So A D is equal C D is equal uh, A E equal. Uh, let's work with A D equal to B A. AD equal to BA, AD equal to BA, okay, cosine rule, 4A square plus C square minus 4AC cos alpha, cos alpha, okay, so this is alpha and this is beta, let's call it gamma, right, 4AC cos alpha equals to, mm, this is going to be 3V and this is A, so 9 b square plus a square minus uh, 6 a b cos beta okay now we need to we can actually you know just remove these terms what we can do is uh, in the triangle abc just notice in the triangle abc that b square is equal to a square plus c square minus 2 ac cos alpha and um, c square is equal to a square plus b square minus uh, what is this minus 4 ab cos beta uh, is it oh, sorry 2 ab cos beta Okay, from here we can actually eliminate the value of 4 AC cos theta, 4 cos alpha and 6 AB cos beta. Just now rewriting the equation 4 A square plus C square. What is going to be minus 4 AC cos theta? This is going to be easily 2 B square plus 2 B square minus 2 A square minus 2 C square equals to. So we have 9b square plus a square. It will be minus 6ab cos theta. We have 2ab cos theta, cos beta. Sorry. Um, so we can we could write it as just multiply 3 on both sides. That is 3c square minus 3a square uh, minus 3a square minus 3b square. Okay. Now this seems pretty interesting. So. Mm, this comes out to be 4 b square plus 4 c square equal to 4 a square right i hope so 
I hope I didn't make a mistake. Uh, no, 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 I didn't make a mistake. Right, I'm b square plus I didn't mess in calculation b square plus c square equal to a square. Now, this is your very elegant proof to your Pythagoras theorem. So, b square plus c square is equal to, equal to a square. Then, certainly, this angle gamma, gamma is going to be 90 degree. Right, so this problem is very, this one is, was an interesting one. So, that's it. and Hope to see you next time. Thank you. Just so if you like the video, just um, maybe drop a like and subscribe to Grammarly's YouTube channel. Thank you.